today on the spot. It's double demo day with DLC for Dante's Inferno, The Trials of St. Lucia, and Kick-Ass. We take a look at what's new this week on Xbox Live, and Jody Robinson brings you the community spotlight. Do you want to play Halo Reach this weekend? Find out how today on the spot. That's right, folks. Welcome to another episode of Today on the Spot. I'm your host, Chris Waters, joined by Sean McInnes here. Sean, it is the final episode of Today on the Spot for the month of April 2010. That's true. And as they say, April showers bring May flowers. So I'm pretty excited. I'm kind of sick of the rain. I would like to see some flowers because A, okay. they're beautiful. True. B, you can eat them if you're desperate. C, or fancy. you can give them to your special lady and she'll forget all the terrible things you've done during the month of April. Like not shower. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sorry. That's a little bit of a revealing look into Sean McInnes' monthly calendar. It was a uh, busy month. You should really see what he does with uh, In Like a Lion and Out Like a Lamb. <laughs> Before this gets any weirder, we're throwing it over to the news team for the latest headlines. Hey everybody, it's your GameSpot News update for Thursday, April 29th. I'm Tor Thorson. Just when you thought there wouldn't be a day without an Activision headline, perhaps the biggest gaming story of the year drops from the sky. This morning, Activision stunned the gaming industry by announcing it had signed a landmark deal with Bungie. Under the terms of the agreement, the studio behind the Halo series has partnered with the Modern Warfare 2 publisher for an exclusive 10-year partnership to bring Bungie's next big action game universe to market. The deal will give Activision exclusive international rights to all future Bungie games based on an unnamed new property through 2020. According to Activision CEO Thomas Tipple, Bungie's new intellectual property will be available on all platforms, including the PlayStation 3. Sony Computer Entertainment America Corp. Com Chief Patrick Siebold packed it up with a Twitter post saying, marrying Bungie's creative minds and incredible talent to the power of the PS3 will be like giving PS3 fans Halo on steroids. The last Bungie game to appear on a Sony platform was Oni in 2001. Since then, Bungie has developed Halo games for Xbox platforms only, farming out the PC ports of Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2. Microsoft continues to own the Halo IP and the recently formed an entire internal division, 343 Industries, to manage and develop it. The deal will see Bungie remain an independent studio, which it has been since 2007 when it split from Microsoft. It will also see the studio maintain control and ownership of the new IP, an arrangement very similar to what the X-Infinity Ward crew at Respawn has done with EA. Well, that's it, your GameSpot news update for April 29th. For more headlines, head on over to news.gamespot.com. Thanks, news team. Our up next, Xbox Live Marketplace. What's new this week? Sean, can you give us a preview of our preview? I know that there's some split second action going on this week. Little I, demo. Know that, I know that there's some Dante's Inferno DLC. Yes. And, um, but personally, I'm still playing the Skate 3 demo. And do you know why that is, Chris? You're trying to hurt your junk real bad. No, that was Skate 2. Okay. That was the game that was all about flinging myself from a rooftop and trying to hurt my junk real bad <laughs> yeah. on like a handrail at the bottom. This game is all about jumping off your skateboard and judo kicking pedestrians. <laughs> it's awesome. It's fun. Oh, it's like a sandbox of wonder for you every time. <laughs> it I love it really it. is. So that was last week, but this week we're going to fill you in on everything that's hitting Xbox Live Marketplace. So let's take a look. It's time for this week on Xbox Live. In the arcade section, the legend returns with Tech Mobile Throwback. This remake of the classic Tecmo Super Bowl has the same gameplay as the original, but with completely redone 3D graphics. And if you really want to keep it classic, you can switch it back to the original graphics and music at any time. Tecmo Bowl Throwback is available for 800 Microsoft points. Games on Demand has a couple of games for shooter fans. Get fired up for Kane and Lynch, Dead Men. It puts you into the gritty and violent story of a mercenary and a psychopath that are forced to work together on jobs that take them all over the world. Kane and Lynch, Dead Men is available for $29.99. If you prefer a little more sunshine in your shooters, then check out Far Cry 2. This open world game puts you in the role of a mercenary in Africa, where you take whatever jobs you can find as you hunt down an arms dealer known as a jackal. With 50 square kilometers of area to go through, there's plenty to be found and lots of things to shoot. Far Cry 2 is available for $29.99. The indie game section shows some Avatar love this week. If you liked shooting blocks last week and want something more, check out Avatar Onslaught. You'll fight off hordes of oncoming avatars as they try to make their way across the battlefield towards you. There's also Inferno Ball, an action-packed version of Pong complete with weapons and fireballs. Play single-player or multiplayer with support for local and online play. Last up is Ace Gals Tennis, an avatar tennis game. 
There's eight girls to choose from, each with her own attitude and skills to train for your avatar through the 36 tournaments. In the game demo section, get ready for some intense racing action in split second. In an explosive reality TV show, players must race to the finish through tracks made for destruction. The city is rigged to blow, allowing you to reshape the track and crash your opponents. And finally, there's also some videos for you to check out. Xenoclash has a new trailer out, showing more of the first-person punching action. There's also a live-action short for Halo Reach, entitled Birth of a Spartan, and the new trailer for Alan Wake. That's it for this week. Check back next time for the latest This Week on Xbox Live. Sticking with the downloadable theme, we're going right into our daily demo today, folks. It's a new DLC for Dante's Inferno. Hey guys, Brian Eckberg here with your daily demo. This is DLC for Dante's Inferno, and I'm here with Visceral Games. Hans Tenkate. Hans, nice to see you again. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me, Brian. The second DLC pack for Dante's Inferno, but this one is completely different than Dark Forest, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, this is a, an, our online expansion, actually. Uh, it brings uh, online multiplayer co-op to the Dante's In Inferno universe, mm -hmm. and uh, we're also excited to uh, show to you uh, a, a editor, a combat editor that we've created, where uh, players can edit their own combat creations, share them online, and then play their trial single as well as two-player matches uh, with uh, friends as well as others online, and also get to experience a new playable character, Saint Lucia. Yeah, you brought it up. Uh, we're definitely going to check out the the editor here in a bit. But Great. tell us about uh, Saint Lucia first of all. Okay, yeah. So uh, Saint Lucia is a character that uh, is uh, mentioned a couple times in the Divine Comedy on which of course Dante's Inferno comes from and uh, she was a character that we wanted to bring to light, uh, life in this universe mm -hmm. uh, and bring her into the story a little bit. Um, she is, uh, for, for lack of a better word, uh, uh, sort of uh, Dante's uh, guardian angel. Mm -hmm. um, she is the patron saint of the blind. Uh, the story goes is that uh, she refused to marry uh, uh, her uh, pagan suitor and as punishment she was of course ultimately killed but she had her eyes plucked out and um, we feature a lot of sort of the, the that theme and symbology in uh, in the game as well mm -hmm. And she's definitely got her own move set. Her own. She 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 plays significantly different than Dante. Absolutely. We wanted something. We wanted to kind of mix it up and create a different character with entirely different moves. Of course, she does have a scythe-like weapon. Mm -hmm. um, Lucia has, uh, of course, wings because she's an angel, mm -hmm. and uh, she also has a, a, a ranged attack. She uh, emanates these uh, holy blasts of light from her eyes, and she it's very rapid fire. And, um, and of course, she's got her own own um, combat moves because she is airborne and she can actually um, you know, use her scythe as well as her ranged attack while airborne, while floating to close to the ground. Um, Dante, by comparison, is about 70% ground-based and he also, of course, has a little bit of airborne attacks because he can jump really high. Mm -hmm. And we've sort of inverted that ratio with St. Lucia. And we should also point out that you don't have to play as St. Lucia. and You can play these single-player challenges and you can play with two Dantes, right? Lots of options. Here. Absolutely, yeah. We didn't mind breaking the fiction a little bit mm -hmm. for this kind of a game. Of course, we said, you know, if you want to play as two Dantes, if, if that's your favorite character to play, you can create a, a two player uh, co op trial that features just two Dantes. Similarly, you can also take two St. Lucias, and both players can then experience her. So tell me, we're, we're seeing wave after wave, we're seeing all of these sort of iconic uh, lo locales from the game. Tell me about uh, these different challenges that you cooked up before this. Before we begin this, segment. sure. Yeah, we actually put this together real, uh, real quick. It's actually the editor is very easy to use. We'll show that to you in a minute. Mm -hmm. But um, we put this trial together just before we started talking, and um, and as you can see, uh, they just got to the end of it. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is, is that if you like a trial, you can quit back to the lobby and then start over again. Mm -hmm. And um, each time you do, you kind of earn the points and things like that. We can talk about that in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, each trial that you create uh, accumulates a score. Basically, the longer you make your trial, the harder you tune your enemies and the longer you make it, uh, it the, the uh, point value of the trial actually goes up. And these are the very same points that the players will earn once they have uh, beaten your trial and mm -hmm. that accumulates towards a leaderboard score and all that kind of stuff. So you're almost like determining the conditions under which um, people will be able to climb the leaderboards and, and score points on, on the trials that you create. But uh, you can create uh, wave after wave of, of enemies. You can choose from 12 different locations. Um, seven of them are actually brand new to the game. Mm -hmm. We took a couple and kind of modified them from the core game and then also created uh, some brand new ones. And um, each, uh, each wave of enemy, because you can add waves to each environment, mm -hmm. you can hold uh, a handful uh, of enemies anywhere up to, uh, in some cases, more than a dozen. Um, which is also kind of new for this kind of game. Uh, you know, our, our core game um, 
featured some very tricky uh, combat scenarios, but this one allows you to really blow it out. Um, we optimize the enemies as well as the environment, so you can really go uh, crazy and put as many enemies as you, as, as you can get in there. Um, and then also add traps and other things. And like I said, the harder you make it, um, the, the, the higher the point value goes. Each wave can also have a mode, and, uh, and mm. the mode is basically the condition, the wind condition for, for that wave. Um, obviously, the most basic one is the kill them all mode, where yeah. if you kill, kill all the enemies in the wave, you move on to the next one. Uh, we also have a couple variants on that. We have a kill them all quickly, where the, the creator can actually specify a time limit under which you have to kill everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a, um, a, uh, a combo required mode that right. basically you put a certain number of enemies in the, in the room and then uh, both players or single player, uh, you know, in, in some cases, would have to uh, get the required number of combo hits using melee combos. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so forth. We also have uh, a new uh, enemy that we featured uh, in just Trials of St. Lucia uh, called the Summoner. And the Summoner is basically one of those enemies that will respawn other enemies in the room until you take care of him first. Mm. So killing the Summoner um, is basically that mode where you go after him first, then you can take care and clear the room. Uh, and lo and behold, there he is. There he is. There's the summoner. Um, you can go after the minions and the unbaptized babies, as you see in the room there. But um, if you don't take care of the, the summoner, he'll just respawn any other guys that you kill. Why don't we show the tools off a little bit? Real okay. Quick, because I, I know there's a lot to talk about there. Absolutely. You have a lot of flexibility, but you can actually make levels pretty quickly, right? Absolutely. Yeah, the editor um, was um, built with um, some help from folks that um, had worked on games like Spore and mm -hmm. Sims. Um, and we wanted to make sure that the uh, the editor was uh, simple to use, but had a lot of depth. Okay. And we wanted to expose as many of the sort of features and um, uh, you know tuning possibilities. Of course, you can choose from, like I said, twelve different environments. Mm -hmm. Choosing an, you choose an environment right off the bat, then you go into the editor, and then you can start placing enemies. Um, you can designate whether a trial is a single or a two-player uh, in whatever combination you want. And uh, you can also, uh, and, and to kind of give you an idea that this is maybe a little bit more like a, an arcade, Dante's Inferno arcade style game, right. is that you can specify the number of lives that player get, uh, uh, players get um, when uh, trying to beat the trial. So you can specify, you know, Dante has just three lives. You get three chances if you either lose a mode or lose your life. Mm -hmm. You only get three shots at it, then you'd have to restart. And you can get pretty granular with the enemies themselves. You can set their health and all that stuff. Absolutely, right? yeah. So, so as uh, Ronnie's showing right now, that you can actually tune the hit points um, for this uh, particular um, enemy, the lost soul enemy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also specify whether this enemy will drop like health orbs or mana orbs that will um, aid you, the player, when that character is killed. Mm -hmm. And all these different factors sort of play into the difficulty score, right? Yep, exactly. The the um, if you tune the health of the enemies up, that obviously makes them a little harder to kill. So the score goes up. If you uh, allow them to drop health or mana orbs, the score will go down just a notch. And uh, the, it's really up to the players to to make the trials as easy or uh, as difficult as they want. And they can just, uh, of course, have fun with the editor. Um, you can see it's pretty easy to use. And, um, and you'll see the score dri being driven up and down mm -hmm. accordingly to what you uh, add and subtract from the level. All right, well, the, of course, the final question is, when is Trials of St. Lucia coming? Uh, Trials of St. Lucia is actually going to be available, download, uh, through the in-game uh, front-end menu as well as Xbox Live and the, and the PlayStation Network uh, on April 29th. Do you have a cost for it yet? Yes, it'll be um, $10. Okay, $10, Trials of St. Lucia coming very soon. Well, everybody, as you know, GameSpot has a very active, vibrant, opinionated community, and they like to say things on our forums and blogs that, uh, well, let's just say a lot of which we cannot repeat even on internet television, but thankfully... Is that, wait, is that like... <laughs> what is... What did you just say? I need to look up about 75% <laughs> of that on Urban Dictionary. Or on GameSpot.com. <laughs> or on GameSpot.com. <laughs> no. I'll do that after the show. Our forums are very, very well moderated. You will not find that in there. <laughs> we won't. Thanks mm -hmm. to the heroic efforts of Jody Robinson, who's got our community spotlight this week.
Hey there, this is Jody Robinson, GameSpot's Community Manager. This week's Community Spotlight showcases the Splinter Cell Conviction downloadable content, the new GameSpot Fuse emblem, and the Member Spotlight. This week's Member Spotlight goes to Esotericus for his creative way of learning a foreign language through playing games like Assassin's Creed 2. If you know of any other games that have multiple languages, you should let him know by dropping by his profile located on the forums page. We recently teamed up with Ubisoft to give away Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction downloadable content. Each week we'll be giving away in-game items up until May 13th when we'll be handing out an exclusive map available only to GameSpot registrants. Lastly, if you have more than 10 friends using GameSpot Fuse, you will notice a new emblem on your profile. If you don't have any friends, start by tracking other users and hope that they'll track you back. This will establish the status of friends. You should drop by the forums page for further details about the latest community news. I'd also like to give a belated shout out to our April Moderator of the Month, Radnar. That's all for this week's Community Spotlight. This is Jody Robinson, signing off. Well, we've already shown you the new Dante's Inferno DLC, and now it's time for our second daily demo. It's Kick-Ass. Hey, what's up everybody? Ryan McDonald here, and I'm joined by Ben Geisler, who is executive producer from Frozen Code Base. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Now, you've been working on Kick-Ass, is that right? That's right, yeah. We've got a, got a game called Kick-Ass, and it kicks ass, yeah. at least, you know, so we've got the movie coming out, and yeah, right uh, on. Ready, to sh ready to show you what we got. Now, now the movie's out, and then as of today, right? right? Today, your demo, or actually the full game is hitting PlayStation Network. That's right. Today, this is the first day of the launch, uh, you know, and you can, you can go and buy it on the PlayStation Network, um, $15, so okay. I think it's a pretty de decent price for the amount of content we got, and we definitely, I mean, we'll get to show you some of it. Super cool. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at what yeah. you, got, uh, you got for us. This is, right. this is right dropping us in the beginning of the game? Yeah, that's right. This is, this is you it's know, kind of a, moment a scene, you. yeah, kind of taken from the movie where there's these, uh, these punks just beating up this kid outside of uh, what's called the dip and sip. It's just kind of like a, you know, 7-Eleven type thing. And um, as typical in the game, usually uh, your objectives come up with that sort of we call it face space kind of objective dialogue. Kick-Ass gets so popular through uh, face, well, actually they call it MySpace in the film, but we right. wanted to call it face space for you know, those kind of reasons. For so obviously licensing obvious, issues. Obvious <laughs> licensing issues. So um, you know, you can, you've got basic sort of uh, you know, action RPG sort of fighter style controls, uh, you know, light attack with the, uh, with the square, heavy attack with the triangle, you've got a jump, and then you can chain them together to do like jump attacks. We've got up to a five hit combo where you can chain all your different attacks together. So I'm doing like a light, light, light. You know, I can do a light, light, heavy. I can do a heavy, heavy. And each one of them produces a slightly different attack for d different reasons that are that you'd want to do that. We've got destruct destructible environments. Uh, those things that were coming out actually get, give me health. This is sort of um, telling the story of kick ass a little more. We just want him to get the crap kicked out of him right away. Right. So I, I've barely been running around, but we really wanted to just... <laughs> oh, you guys introduced Hit Girl and, and uh, Big Daddy right away. Yeah, huh? we introduced him right away. I mean, basically, that was, you know, a lot of us had been on superhero games, and I think that, you know, like Hulk and X-Men Legends, and we really... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Hit Girl is just brutal. <laughs> She's like the yeah. best character ever. So, uh, so, so let's see you can kick some ass. Yeah, yeah. So you know, that sort of sets the scene, and then you know we got a little tutorial here that you were seeing. A little land and, heavy. Uh, yeah. What else are we gonna take a look at here? Ben? Yeah. So let me uh, let me kind of go and show you some more stuff. Okay. Um, I want I want to show you some uh, Big Daddy action. I think. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. I'll wait until you get it going. But yeah, I guess while this is loading, let me ask you right now. Uh, who are the playable characters in it? Is it just Kick-Ass, or is it, you got some co-op going on or anything? Yeah, there's, so there's co-op. You can play any, any of the three characters at any time. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't necessarily fit the storyline. We do the scripting to surround it. So, you know, like, for example, in uh, one of the missions, um, or one of, one of the scenes in the film, um, uh, Big Daddy is captured. Well, if you're playing Big Daddy, obviously you can't get captured. Right. So we have to change the storyline at certain moments to fit, you know, well, what if, you're, what if you're playing as Big Daddy? Okay, well, fine. I mean, then I guess we'll leave the, the purchaser to find out what happens. But basically, <laughs> it's not a hard guess. You know, then Hit Girl and Kick-Ass are captured. So, oh, gotcha. you know, we, we fit the storyline around, you know, what's going on. 
So in this scene, you know, Big Daddy is basically charged with finding Daniel, who's the, you know, one of the sub-bosses of, of Trey Fernandez, and he's just gonna basically blow the crap out of him, get his retribution on Frank. Right on. Now, so. while, while you're getting your retribution on, let me ask you, so we saw, oh, yeah, okay, they asked those, they're gonna ask you some projectile stuff. Yep. So Big Daddy's heavy attack is actually a shotgun. Uh, Big Daddy and uh, Hit Girl both have projectile attacks. So what it means is, is Kick-Ass is actually focused a lot more on melee, mm -hmm. and for that reason, he has more melee combos. Big Daddy does have some awesome melee, like he uses this uh, sort of marine type knife, you know? Speaking of which, let's throw some back there where you got this jetpack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, basically, the the thing is, like, <laughs> this is a huge spoiler. I know. <laughs> this is like, no I, I don't even know, world. like, spoiler. Like, yeah, everyone just realized that this is definitely something that if you haven't seen the movie yet, go see the movie and then watch. <laughs> yeah, totally. Because, um, I right, see it. All right. All right. So, yeah, basically, you've got a little bit of up and down movement. Um, but it is strafing those dudes through the It's window. a lot of strafing. And the thing is, we did balance a lot of this because if you don't, if you don't sort of stay on the move, these guys, another teaser, another huge spoiler is these guys with the bazookas. <laughs> All right, Ben, unless you got anything yeah, else no, to, to show us, uh, that is kick-ass for the PlayStation yeah. 3 out today. Yeah, out today. Go buy it. Uh, Kick some ass. Oh. Thanks so much for coming by. The game is kick-ass. It is out for the PlayStation 3 on the PlayStation Network today. Go check it out. All right, folks, it is trivia time. We're giving away codes to download Kick-Ass. You want one? Here is the question. What present does Big Daddy give to Hit Girl on her birthday? Send us the answer using the module on the side of the page or shoot us an email at onthespot at gamespot.com for your chance to win download codes for Kick-Ass. That's right, Chris, but that's not the only thing that we're going to be giving away on this episode of the show. We've also got an Xbox 360 to give out, so here's the question I've got for you. In the Halo universe, there are more than four vehicles named after animals, but you only need to name four of them. So what are they? If you think you know the answer, use the little green answer trivia button on the page right here, or you send us an email to onthespot at gamespot.com. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering why we're giving out an Xbox and why we've got a Halo-related question for you. Well, the answer is simple. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing the Halo Reach multiplayer beta on, our, on Now Playing days before it hits the public. So it's going to be a whole lot of fun, and we're also giving away some more stuff. We've got more Xboxes to give out. We've got a whole bunch of Halo Reach multiplayer beta keys to give out. And probably the best part of all, we're going to be video chatting with the guys from Bungie. So there's a lot to look forward to on tomorrow's Now Playing. Right, Chris? That's really awesome. I'm very excited. I know. And you get to play that thing early. It's going to be fun. Get the leg up on your opponents and totally kill them even better. Who can argue with that? Nobody. Unarguable thing. All right, folks, be sure to check in tomorrow for that Now Playing, and we'll be back on Saturday with another episode of Today on the Spot. For everyone here at GameSpot, I'm Chris Waters. I'm Sean McGinnis. Have a great week. Thanks, Jim Team. Thinly veiled way of saying you're my mom, is, or is like, I don't know what you're doing. We're going to piece that puzzle together okay. later. Okay, good idea. But before we do that, we need to see what's going on in the current industry with the news. Take it away, headlines, team. That's not what we call them. <laughs> for your chance to win download codes for Kick-Ass. All right, Chris, uh, that is true, what you just said. Tune in tomorrow for a now playing of the multiplayer beta for Halo Reach, and on Saturday for a demo of Death Spank and an interview for Test Drive Unlimited 2.